Okay, Assalamualaikum and uh, Salam sejahtera guys. So uh, I just want to show you a very short video on how to, um, to verify and use the MATLAB code that I just sent you to to verify your uh, assignment lah, to check the answers lah. So basically, uh, I think I, I, I have just realized just now, basically you, you cannot use uh, only that line perf.m file. You need to have a whole set of a uh, MATLAB code lah. So what you need to do now in order to 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 uh, to proceed that you need to download this uh, zip file that I uploaded in you learn. You go to you learn. You go to assessment and MATLAB code for this adult. You click and you save this zip file here. Okay, it's called Power Toolbox version 5.0. Okay, uh, and then you save. After you save that, you extract that file, that folder, and then you go to MATLAB. After you go to MATLAB, you go to this uh, browse folder. Okay, click browse folder and search for that folder. Once you selected that folder, and then you will see this whole bunch of uh, MATLAB file on this window here, lah. So basically, this MATLAB file here are all codes uh, in Hadith Adab textbook exercises. So from chapter one, chapter two, until chapter twelve. Okay, and then some of the code are related to each other. So maybe you run one code, but it require also another another code lah, like a programming one. So what you need to do is uh, for this exercise, you just click for line perf. Okay, line perf uh, for to calculate the touch precision line modeling. Once you double click that, it will open up a editor for the MATLAB code. Don't, do not change any part of the editor. Just click run. Okay, once you click run, it will open up a command window. A command window and then it asks you for this manual here. Lah. Okay, I think some of you has come up to this part here. Okay, when you enter, for example, you want to find the, uh, you want to enter the complex impedance and emittance per unit length. You have enter two. And then say I enter line length of 12 and frequency of 15. Impedance of maybe one plus J multiplied by two, for example. Okay. And then zero are uh, uh, shunt emitters because for a short line, for example. And then it will spit you the uh, ABCD parameter, which is 1 plus J0, 12 plus J24, and so on. Okay, and then, uh, okay, I think some of you, when you hit the enter, and then you will see an error, right? So basically, once you hit enter, the, the software will bring to to another MATLAB file, which is I didn't give you before. So once, uh, if you have downloaded the entire set of power toolbox, and then it will it will be okay, inshallah. Lah. So once you hit enter, it will, it will bring you to this kind of new menu. Okay, this new menu is uh, basically you can uh, continue using the same parameter that you have in enter just now to calculate the sending, to calculate the receiving, uh, and all those things. Lah. So for example, I want to calculate the sending and quantity for specific, for specific receiving end. Okay, so I hit a menu number one, I hit enter, and then let's say I put a voltage 132 kV, and then maybe zero, zero angle, and probably a 100 megawatt power at the receiving end. And I put uh, maybe also there's instead of 100 megawatt, it will be additional maybe 10 megawatt at the receiving end, at the load. And then I hit enter. So once I hit enter, I will okay see all these parameters that I have uh, given before. The receiving power, a voltage, a receiving power, right? And then you will calculate, you mean what is the receiving current? And what's the power factor and the angle? And what's the sending voltage and the sending current? as well as the power factor and then the sending real power and the losses of the transmission line and then as well as the voltage regulation and transmission line efficiency okay so uh here basically um you can check the answer from your 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 assignment and whether all the parameters are correct or wrong so you can snapshot this window and then put it inside your assignment lah. so uh, i will actually mark your your assignment based on your hand calculation but this is just optional lah. if you want to put there is is good i mean you can use this also for for other assignment for maybe you want to self-study you want to check whether your assignment are correct or not you can use this for long line medium line and many other type of line lah. and uh, Okay, so uh, I think that's all for now. Uh, I thank you very much and I see you again, inshallah. Assalamualaikum.